And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Hexcore Teemo. Now this Hexcore Teemo list is going to be all about card advantage. We are going to be drawing tons and tons of cards and with drawing so many cards, we are going to be trying to tell our opponent to go ahead and pack their bags with casting multiple Gohards. All right, so of course, our first way of drawing a lot of cards is going to be Hexcore Foundry. Round start, all players draw one card. But we're also going to be combining that with Insightful Investigator. Whenever we play any two-cost cards, we'll draw one and give it fleeting. So this is going to be our other... So not only will we be drawing extra cards with Hexcore Foundry, but then this Insightful Investigator, this is probably going to be our main engine in the deck. So all of these two mana cards, which we have 17 of them, each time we play any of them, we'll immediately draw another card give it fleeting but that all that will do and even if even if we like draw a card that's fleeting and we can't cast it that's okay because that just thins our deck and helps us find more go hards as we do that we also we have rummages here uh to go ahead and, and discard cards and draw more to get us closer to more go hards we have zonite urchin rummaging um let's see glimpse beyond drawing some cards veteran investigator both players drawing some cards and then also chief mechanist zevi works really, really well with Go Hard. Because whenever if you have a Zevi in play and you draw a card, uh, it could be a Go Hard, you give it fleeting, create another one. So now you have two of them and see, you know, you have two copies. You can play them both, put more copies into your deck. That works out really well. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we're not gonna be focused too much on puff caps, but we do have a nice puff cap element of our deck with Teemo. And so we'll have Teemo and Clump of Wumps with some mushroom clouds and um, one peddler in here that can give some more puff caps. But we don't have too many because that's not quite our focus. You know, our focus is making sure that we have lots of two cost cards and lots of uh, card draw as well. All right, so it looks pretty cool. So we're gonna try it out. Hex Core Teemo will go play five games in ranked. Playing some scouts. This is definitely a kind of deck that, like, the longer the games go, the better for us, right? Like, if our opponents don't kill us that fast, because that's just going to give us more time to play go hards. Um, so, like, these fast decks aren't our favorites. Well, I'll mulligan, I'll mulligan the two Glimpse Beyonds. We'll keep the Get Excited that can kill a Misfortune. And we'll keep some Vile Feasts. All right, predictions are up. I think I'll just pass. I'm considering playing this Veteran Investigator just right now, just, you know, being a 3-2, but they're not really doing too much. So I'll save my spell mana. Fortune favors the bold. Mm. When crime calls, a reply is proper. Well, let's play this. Fresh out of mercy. Take your pardon. That was a misfortunes make a rain. I'll be damned. I right, go get him, Teemo. Alright. The adventure has started. That's not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Because the problem here is, like, whenever they play their units, they get the plus one, plus one, so they're going to be larger. And so, like, these things are going to just be even more difficult to... Uh, it's going to be even more difficult to kill their, their stuff. This doesn't even do damage. Because the other thing will just turn into a 3-3 three, three anyway, but I just I need to get more Gohards into my deck before I start drawing a bunch. Like that's that's my thinking here. The sea tells me all I need. 
All right, so if they would have challenged the other way, we would have had the Vile Feast to break it up. Awesome. Love ya. Better investigator. Love seeing that one. I should play Zevi first. Wait till I have even more mana for this veteran investigator to really take good advantage of it. And that would mean. kind of awkward in general. Clumper bombs. Every wave is a path. Man. This Grand Plaza, though. That card's going places. The facts fall into place. We need to find Gohards. Bless his motion. I'll show the hunters. Okay, yeah, Cordex, yeah, so it doesn't, yeah, exactly, it doesn't really matter if we win that, win or lose that much with the, with the Wise Fry deck. I was surprised, I was surprised, um, with the Wise Fry deck, we didn't have the, didn't have the Bilgewater Challenger, the two mana Challenger. I was surprised at that. There's plenty of killing left. Always forward. It's my time. Let's get to it. Set sail. Love ya. So they had three misfortunes, right? Because they, they played a misfortune. And then played a Misfortune's Make It Rain, and then I killed their Misfortune, and then they just played another Misfortune. It's living the life. Mm, I'm not going to have the mana anyway. I need one more mana. Because I need one mana, I need to play Zevi, and then play Veteran Investigator and draw, you know, draw the go hard and then have two copies of go hard. How can I help? All right, well, it's not going to be go hard. Yeah, so they had they had all those Ann Plaza. Just living the life.
Okay, Demacia Shadow Isles. No champions. So they shouldn't be as aggressive, but they, I mean, well, they may be as aggressive. Of course, we need the game to go longer. Give us more time. Okay, uh, for us, we're going to get rid of the Absorb Soul and the Vile Feast. I don't know, actually, I'm going to keep Vile Feast. I think you can block for us. Um, yeah, let's, let's go and try this. I should probably keep the two cards that we named the deck after, Teemo and Hexcore. Oh, hello there. Okay, so they are going to be aggressive. Protect the life total. Nothing like the great outdoors. No, we're playing against no no champion, so there should be an undying. With how they had the the first card, that one man two one that makes something ephemeral, there should be an undying deck with cursed keeper and blighted caretaker and all that kind of stuff. That'd be my guess. Using Demacia as either single combats and or rallies. Sure is dark, eh? Anything else? <laughs> or Plaza? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Playing Plaza. Slippery. I guess that makes the sense. Think I got something. I'm not sure. What do you mean? What do I think about Chief Mechanist Zevi? Like, I think it makes a lot of sense to play it in here. I think it, it's it's amazing with Go Hard. Yep, they're a Grand Plaza deck. Wait on the veteran investigator. All right, looks good. Where are these gohards at? We haven't seen a single one yet. Officer J S Hawkjaw, you did. Yeah, we haven't we haven't seen a single one yet. Um Actually, I think I just let that happen. Just trying to help. Yeah. Cuz now now I can vile feast this grizzled ranger during combat. There we go. And whatever the Undying forces us to block, we can sacrifice that to the Glimpse Beyond. And so I, I want to play those two cards. Instead of just sacrificing the Teemo. And then this Grizzled Ranger killing something else. <laughs> yeah, Zevi's a good card. It's worth playing. Getting, getting multiple of a lot of these cards is just awesome, and it's a it's a really good body five six for six mana. It's a good size. These decks just aren't letting us like with these grand plazas just aren't letting us just sit back with this insightful investigator either. All right, finally a go hard. All right, we're gonna go ahead and play that. Uh, I guess it makes sense to do it on this thing. 
Play that so we get two more copies in here. So now we have four copies in there. Before we do anything else. I think we're going to rummage away both Hexcore Foundries. Because I, I, I don't think I can really afford to have two slots taken up to that. I'm definitely playing the Doom Beast, right? I want to play the Insightful Investigator on their turn after they attack. And so then I can go into my whole turn with all that mana and Insightful Investigator and play. This is a cool combination here. Iterative Improvement with Insightful Investigator. That's a cool combination. And even though I'm limited on board space to 5 because of the Foundry, they are also limited on board space to 5 with the Grand Plaza. You can pass. I'm thinking about doing it the improve, you know, the iterative improvement on the Doom Beast, and then playing the Doom Beast. That would, you know, get that would get a two another two drain in, and then I'd have exactly four mana enough for the Investigator. But I don't think I'm in that dire straits that I need to heal my Nexus for two with that. I think I can, you know, like from just here, if they just attack out, I think I'm be okay, and you know, all my stuff will die, but whatever and then be able to play Insightful Investigator post-combat. So Radiant Guardian's not going to be the easiest thing to kill. Yeah, I definitely need pack your bags. Awesome. I love it. Getting a single combat out of their hand. I'm very happy with that. Single combat killing my insightful investigator was going to be quite rough. Investigating officer, unit six. All right, another go hard, finally. Um, I play you at 19, so we're at one, so this would be two. Can I play Zevi? Probably not. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I can play Zevi. I guess either way I could do this first. I would like to play Zevi. Yeah, I think I can play Zevi. You dream it, I'll build it. And that would mean Because of course our, our best draw, like right there, would have been a Go Hearts, and that would have gave us the two copies, because right now we've cast two, so that would have been copy number three and four. I'm planning on playing the Eager Apprentice now. And then we get two spell mana, and then I could play one of these and Try again. I guess that doesn't. Yeah, we couldn't really. How can I help? Double trouble. Okay.
All right, there's another go hard. Those undyings are a little rough. We're not out of this yet. I know it looks like it, but we're not out of this yet. Yeah, we have some things we can heal our Nexus. I don't know why I'm targeting that instead of the 7-7. Seven, seven doesn't really matter. I just getting those in, in my deck before I possibly draw more cards. I'm gonna have like, I wanna do like Doom Beast, maybe copy Doom Beast, maybe copy Doom Beast over here. Could also copy Veteran Investigators though. Um, so we've, we've cast three Go Hards, so we have 15 cards left, six of them are Go Hards. Keep the fading memories though, because maybe I need this better investigator. I don't know. Maybe I should have fading memories. The Doom Beast also. I just feel like the fading, you know, if they know about like the ephemeral copy. We're just never going to be able to block with it. Finding details is my duty. Okay, there's a pack your bags. <laughs> Veteran could allow them to draw into another atrocity. Veteran first. But also, I, I probably want more go hards back into my deck before I would draw it better in any way. This is a you know another potential six damage here. So if there's no Nexus healing. You could be so much more. <laughs> Admitted Stoke Hedgefin. That's a cool one. It's good stuff. The good sign so far. Well, do I just go for it? Or they have two puff caps still, also. Come on, tap out. Play another five mana card. Go ahead. So okay, so remember they're gonna get the two undyings that are both huge back at the beginning of the turn. So right here, if I go with the Fading Memories, Doom Beast, I won't have I won't have enough blockers. They'll, they'll be able to open attack to kill me. If I play the Veteran Investigator, then I have enough oh, blockers. Guess, I guess this is our line. And that's true. And even if they have like a, a Vile Feast that gains one life, maybe... Ooh. Maybe they get a Puff Cap. And also, maybe that has a Puff Cap, this card. It does. So close. All right, yeah, so we should have them now. That's the risk. 16 cards, two Puff Caps, and they hit a Puff Cap. 12.5% chance that they hit a Puff Cap. All right, there we go. Hexcore Teemo. Hexcore Foundry, getting some work in. 
Yeah, that one of Absorb Soul was clutch. All right, facing a burn deck, Ezreal Draven. Zevi's awesome, but expensive. Rummage, awesome. Doom Beast, awesome. All these cards are awesome. I'm going to replace Zevi, though. And I'm going to keep Rummage to help us find more Gohard. But I don't know. I could see, like, we don't really have, like, the things right away to, like, discard to Rummage. So I could see getting rid of that, to be honest. Um, maybe I do get rid of that. I mean, I could get rid of Peddler. Or a Iterative Improvement. I like that. We'll do that. I guess I'll wait till after I play Peddler. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, have what he's having. <gasps> Surprise! We're not even a Peddler deck anyway. We just had the one. Don't even care. The good news here is that they won't be killing the Insightful Investigator immediately. You know, the bad news, obviously, is that you know, Draven's awesome and they get all these spinning axes and that's all really cool and stuff. Ooh, a Mystic Shot. Yes! Let's go. And that worked out quite well. You know, if it was something that we couldn't play, we would have been able to rummage away, but... Draven down. So yeah, we basically killed that Draven for free, right? Like, we got that Mystic... Sh like, we drew the Mystic Shot off the clump of wumps, and then we drew the Gohard off the Mystic Shot. So we basically got both of those cards for free. So that worked quite well. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. The facts fall into place. Oh, I also went for another Mystic Shot. I'm not sure this is a great Hexcore Foundry matchup. Watch and learn. May not be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, oh, they have nine cards in hand. Why can't they have ten? I'm gonna make them burn it. So this, so this is kind of odd. Like I want to play the veteran investigator after Go Hard, but I also want to play it right now while I can keep on getting free cards to the investigator before they, you know, before they like play something that kills my investigator. The truth hinges on every piece of evidence. Indeed. Take a look at this. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. Just oh, keep digging. And Ezreal Mystic Shot? Oh darn. And that would mean... No! The Go Hard. Well, that's too bad. That was the only... That was the only fleeting card that we didn't want to draw. Oh well. We're still digging. How 
can I help? It's a good one. Wow, did you see that? So I know I was supposed to put more copies back first before drawing, but I just feel like they're just going to kill my insightful investigator at some point here. All right, two. And so I like playing like the clump of before, like while we know that the insightful investigator is still alive. Yes, of course. Steal a line. Uh. All right, well they're definitely not killing it with zero mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Oh, they have nine cards again. Well, we can make it ten until they burn the second card. The truth is on every piece. Hey, Timo. Indeed. Take a look at this. So, like, they're they're draw step for turn. They're gonna burn. Two, three, four. Hot. Two, three, four. The veteran investigator is awesome. I can't believe they never killed the veteran investigator. I mean, I guess it's it's kind of pack your bags. That's the awesome card, I suppose. No way. Yeah, there they go, GGs. They packed their bags. You just gotta keep digging. You'll find more. Ooh, this one's always a tough one. Fiora is a difficult card. Maybe they won't have Fiora. We have all like these little things, so they have a lot of targets to kill with Fiora. All right, when, when your champ points, we make the correct prediction. So I think I want to. So Vile Feast is good against Zoe, but it, getting the Spider isn't good for Fiora. So I think I just keep the Mystic Shots. Um, having the most removal as like the most removal that we can is also good though. Let's just all Mulligan Veteran Investigator also, even though that's another card that I enjoy. Normally. I'm gonna do this now before they can protect it. So yeah, that thing with lifesteal. Lifesteal will be a problem. Heard there was a little fella asking for me. Okay. No Fiora so far, so that's great. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. Huh. Anything else? <laughs> Double Teemo. Oh, floaty crystals. What a mushroom help. So double Teemo. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight. Nine again. The sea tells me all I need. So again, our opponent had nine cards. Couldn't quite punish them for having ten. Well, that's ten cards in hand. Uh, just a sparkle fly. I was hoping a Fiora. Still, we draw a card, they don't. Yeah, the Absorb Soul, like, won us our first game, too. They went with, like, a big atrocity, and it was going to kill us by three, and the Absorb Soul kept us alive at one. <laughs> the drain four. It was perfect. So if I make this attack, they, they block these first two, and they take ten, go down to five. Loop -loop. I'm too airborne. If 
That doesn't doesn't make any sense, right? Why would you block Veteran Investigator over Pumpcat Peddler? That doesn't make any sense. Weird game. Single combat's awesome. Okay, I'll just do the immediate attacks. Tough's pretty rough because, you know, it stops my Vile Feast. Okay, so we'll just glimpse beyond you. Oh yeah, we're playing Go Hard. Already forgot. Put more Go Hards into the deck. Let's see, so we're at five mana. What I'm playing. Like, Teemo's getting played for sure for a blocker. Another day in the field. Might as well do that first. Yeah, and I guess I play I you. How about rummaging that card away, though? I kind of want to just give them puff caps now. Right, so I think I play this. And I, I wonder if I rummage away Go Hard. That's that's gotta be wrong to rummage that away. Alright, maybe I should have rummaged the eager apprentice. I can wait and see what my draw step is though. I, I don't mind getting rid of the Vile Feast, of course. The Vile Feast can go. Um Okay, there's another eager apprentice that can go. Yeah, I just want bun burn. I should have just I should have just done the eager apprentice because I could have gave them another three puff caps before that draw step. Maybe they would have drawn one of those three. Eight out of ten for Zoe. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Um. So they've played two Guiding Touch so far. I will cut you, try me. And then even if this doesn't work, I got the Hexcore Foundry. How, why did they not kill my Pedal? Like, the Pedaler was at... They had, like, three Puff Caps, and they just... They could have killed the Pedaler, and they killed something else instead. Okay. Alright, good win. Three and one. They did not have Fiora right away. They had a Zoe Hand instead. Which didn't kill us fast enough. And we got a lot of burn. And we were also able to go wide. Going wide was really good in that matchup. Victor Zoe. So another Zoe deck. This time with Victor. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the rummages, actually. This time. It's good to be able to have... Okay, yes. Like, this card makes rummage awesome. But I didn't have that right away. 
They're playing Death Ray. Wow. Okay. No Mountain Goat for you. Alright, so we know that they're going to have, like, their own, like, you know, Mystic Shot that only targets units the journey is here pretty soon. Will protect you. Um, I kind of want to just go hard that thing. <laughs> yeah, I guess I do. I just cast this card and just put it back, just put more, more copies back into my deck. It's not like it, yeah, like, I think that's all I do. I'm just, like, allowing them to gem that <laughs> and heal it. Sure. These gems it's just a little too too. Okay. Well, I haven't really drawn anything else to do, so I'm just going to play this. Really couldn't have drawn that Foundry before. Flesh is a weakness we must shed. Because I want them to use that... They have the, the two mana deal two. I want them to use that on this... Oh, I guess they're going to... I guess they use that on this, then they get the three mana deal three for the investigator. Because, right, like, I just don't want the investigator to die. That's all I'm concerned about here. Once I stand papers, now faces. Our goals are greater than petty violence. I'm sorry, Demo. Alright, deal one to a unit, create. Okay, so we'll create either way, whether it deals one or not. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, so they're going to have two deal twos. Leave the bar. Beg your pardon. That's quite surprising that they are willing to trade Hector away. Or, uh, Victor away. I call him Hector. <laughs> Hector is a cool card name. Victor Vector Hector. Hector. Hector is a cool name. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. And we just I just know they have the two M MK2s, which is perfect for killing two Doom Beast. I can't pass. What am I doing? I can't pass. I want them to play this ignition first, but I can't, because they could can just go to open attacks. Once I said, oh, I'm lucky. <laughs> they did not go to open attacks. Like, they're going to just run us... So they're drawing three cards a turn with Ballistic Bots and then two cards per turn with the Hexcore Foundries. They're just going to run out of space. Pretty soon. Alright, let's pack your bags. Alright, we got pretty fortunate this game with, like, my opponent's plays. Helped us out quite a bit. They made some questionable questionable decisions. They could have been a lot more aggressive, basically. Like, if they would have done that MK2 on my 3-2 blocker also, instead of playing, like, the Sump Dredger, they would have had a lot better of attack. And then this, of course. Down with the machines. Those noisy machines. Now they have two MK3s. Super cool star chart. 
Is Super Cool Star Chart just a regular card you can play? Go hards. The thing is, so I know they have the MK3, so I have to play this before they before they bolt my investigator. Cool, a new investigator. That's fine. Hexcore Founder, you did your job. You did your job. It's a good job. Okay, it is main deckable. K3 for my insightful oh. investigator anymore. Subterfuge, hidden clues, it's all here. How can I help? I learned that in class. No, fleeting. Off to them. I have three mana though, and it costs three. And it's not a unit. No. No, no, no. Meow, 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 meow. Let's go with this one. See if we find something to use some spell mana first before playing the eager apprentice. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. Class five focus optical burn. Piltover craftsmanship. No, I should probably go this way. No, they have a gem. I don't want to incentivize them to use the gem on either of those. Where are we at? We're at two right now, right? Yeah, so this is going to be number three. Say these were from the protector himself. All right, so I should be casting packer bags again this turn. I would assume. There it is. Wow, did you see that? And there they go. I'll go ahead and pack them up. Man, Insightful Investigator is pretty awesome. A 4-1 in ranked. Now, we didn't like necessarily play the best decks and, and everything. You know, our, our opponents were kind of doing some janky stuff, too. Um, but that worked really well. And yeah, Insightful Investigator was awesome. Hexcore Foundry was better than I thought. You know, just I haven't seen this card be super effective so far. It's a you know, it's a huge cost of spending three non-spell mana and not affecting the board and then also giving resources to your opponent while you're slower. That's that's a difficult ask, but it actually worked out really well here, you know, with the Go hards. And now, like these kind of decks, I haven't found that they've been able to cast pack your bags reliably enough. You know, decks with like like the Ezreal versions of this with like Ezreal and Victor and that kind of stuff. And they have they have tons and tons of removal, but I just don't that but um when we've played those decks, the go hards haven't looked very good, even with Hexcore Foundry, because it's just not enough card draw. But going with P and Z like this and just really focusing on card draw, especially Insightful Investigator, but then also Veteran Investigator was very important, our two investigators. I like that instead of focusing on just all removal Ezreal. I think this was a much better um, pack your bag stack than the all removal versions of this. If you just play all removal spells in Hexcore Foundry, you're not gonna draw enough cards, but you start playing you know, a whole bunch of rummages and um, stuff like that and like all of our our car draw in here. Now we're talking, especially this thing was really awesome. Um, yeah, glimpse is necessary. Yeah, glimpse is awesome. Yeah, it's it's very useful against Fiora and other things because you and you have just a bunch of like little things, especially like little spiderling tokens and everything. You have a bunch of things to sacrifice, and and so it, it draws you two cards there. It's also a two cost card for Insightful Investigator, which is perfect. So if you have an Investigator in play, you play, you get three cards. 
um, yeah, it's it's definitely worth it. I, I was very happy with the Glimpse Beyond, for sure. Um, I'm not sure about the Fading Memories, but it did, I mean, I don't know, like, it, you, you kind of go through your whole deck here, and you see, because you draw so many cards, you see so many different cards, so having all these one-ofs is really nice. You know, like, we had, like, finding that, like, having that Fading Memories was an extra Doom Beast to help burn out our opponent. Um, that Get Excited really helped finish games, burn out the opponent. You know, opponent stabilized at three, and we get excited to kill them. We, we use multiple Get Excited to kill opponents. We only have one in here. Doom Beasts were awesome at draining out the opponent. There's only the two in here. You know, the one Puff Cat Peddler really helped us win, um, you know, that one game against the, the Fiora deck and, and against other decks. It was a good card that our opponents were focused on killing while it didn't actually really matter that much. So, you know, it was a nice one of. Zevi can be can be incredibly power, powerful with Go Hard, as we talked about. It's a great one of. When you have so much card draw, it's really nice to have all these one ofs because there are little situations where you want them. And, uh, but you don't need like, you know, you don't need three of them, right? You don't need three fading memories, right? You don't want to just draw fading memories all the time, but it's nice having access to that one. Same with that Absorb Soul won us that game, of course. That's a classic great one of. It won us that game by helping us stay alive through that atrocity, but we don't want just like a handful of Absorb Souls. So I, I love how the, how many one and two ofs there are in this list. Um, whenever you have all that kind of card advantage. I think that that's something that, that people don't do enough. Even with a deck full of card advantage like this, I could see people throwing in, you know, three Puff Cat Peddlers, three Get Excited, and, you know, like all that kind of stuff. And it's it's nice having a lot of one ofs and spreading it out more because you're going to see so many cards. You need different cards for different situations. Um, so there we go. So that's, that's a really cool deck. Um, and that worked really well. All right. So this one's from monkey cap. Thank you, monkey cap. All right. But there we go. There's some hex core Timo. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. If you try it out yourself, how does it go for you? Um, uh, or anything else like that? Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. This one was really cool. All right. But that's all I got here. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.